2010 Sienna rear evaporator. You can see we're in the rear. So this has damaged sheet metal on the outside here that needs to be replaced. So the HVAC core that has the heater and the evaporator inside it needs to be removed out of line because all of this is gonna get replaced. So this needs to be removed. And let's see what we have here. Here's the refrigerant lines down here. Here's your heater hoses right here going to your heater. You can actually see the heater core right here. And you can see how the air moves, comes out, and it goes to the vents that will travel inside here to come out right there and there. Uh, where's the other vent? I think it comes up here. Where's it connect? Right, right inside there. I think blows along, comes out the other side. There's one of the airbags right there. And then the evaporator core, you can see where the lines go up right here. And right here is the evaporator core, this, this rectangle cut out right here. And the air passes there. This one, you can't see it, but this is the motor and it takes in the air from the other side. There's no filter or anything like that. It just pulls, it has the squirrel cage on the other side, pulls in the air, it blows the air down here at the bottom. It blows the air through the evaporator and through the heater core and then comes out. Now controlling where it comes out, if you look really carefully, they have this door flapper right here that moves. Right now you can see the heater core. You cannot see the evaporator. The evaporator, the air would come out right there. So right now it's in heat mode. And so the air will pass through the evaporator, through the heater core, and then the hot air will come down right here. When you, add, when you want cooling, these little gears and motors will move and then the door will flap over and it'll close off the heater and it'll open up and you'll see the evaporator down there and it'll allow the air to come through here and come out and then you'd get cooling. And that's basically how that works, really simple. And here's your drip tube right there. So when you're looking on this one, I wonder if you can see, oh, he already has that probably disconnected down there, not sure that's what I'm doing right now now I have it recovered I'm gonna fill it up with nitrogen because it's recovered and it's under a vacuum whoops it's under a vacuum uh, below 900 microns and let's see over here I'm about to add the nitrogen to the system because I don't want him disconnecting it's at uh, 858 microns so I have turn off the low side I push it through the high side and then bleed it out the low side, usually one or two PSI, three PSI. Sometimes I accidentally get more out of there and I just bleed it out. So just turn it on, whoops, open it up. There we go, that's open. There, I put nine PSI of nitrogen through the high side. It went through all the high side lines. It went through both expansion valves came up through the system and then to the low side. So close off the high side. Let's close off the nitrogen. Let's disconnect it right here. There we go. And then I'll just bleed off a little bit of that pressure through the low side. There we go. A little bit more somewhere between that one to three range I like to get as long as it's positive. The whole idea is when the technician removes the lines on the back, it does not suck in the moist atmospheric air into the system. And then he throws some plugs over the lines in the back. Okay, that's good enough. So you have no chance of unplugging something and getting uh, oil splashed in your eyes or in your mouth because that oil tastes ND8. Uh, Denso oil for Toyotas tastes really nasty, bitter, sour. And even after brushing your teeth and eating Lifesavers and drinking a Coke, the taste still stays in your mouth. Guess how I know. All right, so that's it. That was really simple. 
it's now ready for disassembly and there's no chance of atmosphere being introduced to the system after you've done the recovery because you had it in a negative vacuum of, you know, I had it under 900 microns. See you guys later.